Cyberpunk 2077, a game that is going to be monumental, not just for RPGs, but also for first person shooters. If you are like me and you are hella, hella, hella excited for the game, well, it's unfortunate that some people just cannot get it. I myself will be getting it, and hopefully you guys can get it too. So let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite backstory? Will you be the nomad? Or will you be the corpo? Or the street kid? We have Cyberpunk 2077 at home. Now you might be thinking, what's wrong with Johnny's hand? Well, this is a trademark for Cyberpunk 2077 at home. Your arms won't always work the way they should, but hey, at least we have the amazing Quadra VTech. Which was, by the way, changed to the Turbo R. Kind of like how they removed the wall running mechanic in the game. But hey guys, it's gonna be a great game. Let's dive in, see some awesome mods that'll make your Gary's Mod experience just that much more cyberpunky. First up guys, we have the Cyberpunk HUD Feel Future. Now you'll notice this is a very simplistic looking HUD, but apparently it's inspired from the game. We have a radar to the top, we also have a compass right in the top right corner which you won't be able to see because my face cam's in the way. Sorry about that guys. We also have a clock which is... Let's see... 940... Yup, yup, that's, that's accurate. And we have a health bar as well as a few other goodies. So you can see our health is regenerating because we do have the regenerating health mod. We also have a suit bar. And if we spawn a suit... We can see it does absolutely nothing. But if we get batteries, we can see our suit meter right above the health bar fills up, which is pretty awesome. So this is a very nice simplistic HUD. Unfortunately, it does add automatic quick weapon swapping, which by the way, causes errors for some reason with the HUD. That might be a problem with my end. Maybe there's a mod I have installed, but just be weary of that. Not everyone is going to like the quick swapping feature. I myself don't really like it that much, but whatever. It's the cyberpunk way, guys. This is cyberpunk at home. You got to deal with some drawbacks. You also might remember Night City. This is not Night City. This is Cyber Wickford. That's right, guys. This is the city we'll be spending time in. Apparently recreated from a real life location in Rhode Island or something. Also, just so you guys know, we are playing as the man himself. The next mod is, of course, the Johnny Silverhand player model. Now, guys, Johnny Silverhand is going to be an integral part of the story in Cyberpunk 2077. I can't wait to see exactly how he ties in, but of course, you guys know, Keanu Reeves just kills it. And this was one of the most anticipated things from the game. Well, you can now have it in Gary's mod. <laughs> Who needs real Keanu Reeves in a cyberpunk game? We have him in Gary's Mod. Now guys, you can't go into Night City without some awesome weapons. Which, I don't know what the hell is up with this view model, by the way. <laughs> now guys, of course, when you're playing the real game, you won't be dealing with these errors. But when you have cyberpunk at home, well, you're going to have to deal with some errors. And this is definitely one of them. This is the Gauss Rifle. And you can see it looks very futuristic. Fits the theme. This isn't particularly from the game itself. It's just kind of a futuristic weapon I found on the workshop, but it fits the bill. I mean, it, it looks believable. Um, the sight is really weird. Is that like some kind of thermal sight? We can see it's very powerful. We're gonna have to see just how powerful though. Odessa, he'll be our first test in the cyberpunk world. Yes, guys, look at that. We get amazing imaging to see just where our target is and we can just blast him to smithereens. Now this weapon, of course, can be modified because it does use the arc base. So we could just go ahead and equip some tactical stuff. Look at that. Because in Cyberpunk 2077, you'll be able to customize your weapons in many different ways. So why not be able to just throw it into Gary's mod? Okay, let's see. Those pink textures, you won't find that in Cyberpunk 2077. All right, we even have a little charm, guys. Look at that. We are fully decked out now, and now we can see just how epic this Gauss Rifle can be. We also have some melee abilities by simply pressing E and left click at the same time. Now in Cyberpunk 2077, you'll be doing a lot of damage, but you'll also need some healing, and this is the medical futuristic gun. So we could shoot our enemies with it, and it theoretically will hurt them. I don't think Odessa is an enemy, so it won't hurt him at all. But let's summon a Metro Police Officer, and let's see just how different this interaction will be. 
However, you can see our radar does work. You can see right there, combine. Well, actually, you probably can't see because my face cam's covering it. But we're taking a lot of damage here. We can shoot the ground and have nothing happen. I'm gonna be honest, guys, that one was kind of a bust. But what isn't a bust is this nano blade. Now, of course, as a cybernetically enhanced being, we have access to augments. And this is just one of the augments that totally wasn't ripped from Deus Ex Mankind Divided. No, this is from Cyberpunk at home. And what this has, well, for one, you have an amazing look at this. We have a sprint animation. We don't have a um uh an overworld model, but Hey, who needs that? Cyberpunk's a first-person game. You're not gonna be seeing yourself in third person that much anyway. So, the cool thing about this is being able to just shoot a blade out and being able to automatically reload it when combined with the efficiency of having it connected to your arm and the stealth combat, we get some amazing assassination gameplay. Now, I gotta admit, guys, I'm really impressed with this. This is actually a super, super, super cool weapon. Um, it works really well. You can aim down sights just like this, and then you can shoot, and I like how the blade actually has that nice forceful impact once you hit something. We could try it with some Metro Police here. And look at that. So satisfying, guys. For all your cyberpunk assassination needs, this is a must-have. Now, of course, we're in this big cyberpunk city. By big, I mean, like, really small. But we need a vehicle to explore it with, and this is, of course, the Turbo R. And this is probably one of my favorite looking vehicles in video games. We get to have it in Gary's Mod. So here's the interior, which I suppose is kind of modeled after the real thing. But we can see using Symphy's base, we get a nice mean vehicle and an amazing control system to work with. Now the streets unfortunately aren't all that forgiving for vehicles, at least on this map. But of course, we could still roam around the city in style, and if you really want to, you can look in third person, look at that, Johnny's having a time of his life. It's not his Porsche, but you know what? I think he'll do just fine. You can see, guys, the vehicle handles really, really well, and I think even better is its efficiency to run over pieces of crap like that. Oh, I got some junk stuck under my car. No worries, though. You can simply drive over it with these massive wheels. I didn't realize there was four wheels in the back. But that just means more Odessa skull-crushing action. And... Wow! We have a dilemma. Now, guys, we're smoking, but when you're in the cyberpunk world, you're gonna be seeing this a lot. This isn't really out of the ordinary. This is, if anything, just in addition to the realism. Do you hear something burning, or is that just me? I'm starting to think this is probably not a good idea to stay in this vehicle. Judging by the fact that not only is my car giving me some warning lights, but I'm starting to smell something strange. Now is this going to stop me from running over a Metro Police Officer? I don't think so. Now of course guys, Cyberpunk isn't just about features, but also about fashion and looks. And what better way to give a certain look than an awesome poster. Here we have a Tiger poster. Judging by the looks of it, I believe this is one of the gangs in the game. And we also have this beautiful, beautiful cyberpunk art. You can decorate your map with this. This is definitely the best way to decorate your world with some cyberpunk flair. Last up, guys, and this is one of my favorites, we have the Intelligent HUD. Now, in Cyberpunk, you're able to get some augments and upgraded augments to where you can see things that most human beings cannot see, like being able to see through walls, or zoom in, or detect things from far away. Well, we can do that here, of course, because this is Cyberpunk at home. By simply pressing X, we can activate our augmented vision, and oh my god, there is so much junk here. Now, we're being a bit over flooded, but we can see it can even distinguish between good and bad, judging by the smiley faces in the corner. We have Odessa, which I don't know why he's green, he should be red. And then we have a Metro Police Officer. And you guys can see by just opening this view, we get a look inside. Now not only can we look at them, but like I said earlier, you can see them through walls. If we can just find a wall, look at that. Easily seen through this thick brick pillar. Now you can easily just turn it off, and there you go. You can also customize this in the settings tab, guys, to whatever it is you want. You can adjust the aim assist, increase the threshold or the aim assist strength. But let me just demonstrate what this does. So by activating this, 
and pressing left click, we can shoot. Now the cool thing guys is we have auto aim. So by pressing, for me, H, we go straight cybernetic mayhem. I didn't even click a button guys, it automatically did that. All you have to do is just have your target in front of you, press the button that you designated as the auto aim button, and just like that, completely destroyed. This is one of my favorite mods, and I actually did take a look at this a while back. I'll put it in the top right corner if you guys want to look at it in a more in-depth showcase. I'll demonstrate this once more because, guys, this is similar to the smart weapons in the Cyberpunk game. The weapons where you shoot and the bullets automatically track, kind of like auto-aim or aimbot. So this is just like this. But of course, I don't think we can shoot through walls. Unfortunately not. But the thing that's really cool is if you use these pistols, you can shoot two different enemies at the same time. So you can see here we have two enemies. If we press this, we can see we, we crossed our pistols and shot at the same time. Honestly, way better than aiming with this way. We had to be just that extra amount of gangsta. And there you guys have it. That was Cyberpunk 2077 at home. If you couldn't buy the game, or get the game at release, at least you can have some fun with some cyberpunk inspired mods in Gary's Mod, which if you already have Gmod is of course free. Let me know what you guys think about the video if you liked this type of video. I might do more like I was thinking about doing with other games. Um, so if you guys want to see like other games being represented in a very poorly way in Gary's Mod, let me know. But of course, shout out to all the mod creators that made the mods in this video. Seriously, you guys make amazing mods. Now, I know it's not obviously of cyberpunk true quality, but for Gary's Mod, it's just, I mean, the fact that we can even have this discussion about having these mods in a game anyway is just amazing. I love the mod community. You guys are awesome. Keep being awesome. Leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll put all the links down in the description for all the mods. And you can check out my Instagram and other YouTube channels, as well as Facebook and Twitter, down below. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end. I'll see you in the next video. And until next time, farewell. As always, the last video I uploaded will be on the left, and a random video on the channel will be on the right. All the links to all my socials will be down below. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.